In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this cartoon cloth effect without needing any drawing skills using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Jewel here. As you can see, this is the final output. Uh, let's go to file and open the new image. Select the photo, open it. Uh, we need to remove the background first uh, so for that right click get a quick selection tool make sure it's on the plus and make selection of the model once you are happy with your selection go and click on the layer mask so the background is gone now let's add a new one for that uh, go to adjustment layers and select a solid for now keep it white color and hit ok now put the background under your model so we can see what's going on uh, and to fix the hair just quickly right click on the layer mask here right click uh, and then go to select and mask make sure you have the second option and then paint on the hair and then go hit ok now comes all the drawing part for that create new blank layer and rename it to main outlines so this will be the thick outlines that will cover the big parts of the image uh, for that uh, you have to use your brush tool now be careful uh, let me show you an example uh, quickly so let's say i have this uh, brush here with white color right uh, i'm gonna make it a little bit bigger if you take a soft brush and then you right click and make it hard right uh, and do a drawing it gives you this weird thing like a rough edges but but if you go here and get the hard brush directly uh, from the menu and then you paint it is very smooth so this is what you need don't make your soft brush harder but use the uh, already a hard brush it works much better and high quality now to do the lines I'm gonna use a bright red color so uh, pick a reasonable thickness uh, I think uh, this uh, I think okay this is still too much it's a bit of a trial and error but take your time okay so I think I'm happy with this thickness if you're using same image I think it's a 25 pixel brush and then start tracing now if we take a look uh, let me turn this off every single thing is clearly boxed out so if I make selection of anything for example using magic wand tool I should be able to make some clear selections without any issues because everything closes off somewhere okay and there are no open ends that's the only thing you have to worry about now we will add the details uh, which is a bit more uh, tricky but let's create a new layer and rename it details uh, details uh, using the same brush but this one we will make it a bit thinner uh, and don't think too hard basically everywhere you see creases like a big creases something like this draw a line draw a line and draw a line don't think too hard and follow the same technique everywhere And now I think we can also make the lines black. Uh, to do that, it's pretty easy. Select your layer, go to image, adjustment, and hue saturation. Uh, and I'm gonna make the lightness minus 100 and it will make the lines black. And do the same for the details. So we are done with the outlines and we can finally start the coloring process. For that, we don't need the details, so you can turn it off for now, so it's less confusing. Uh, and then activate your main outline layers. It's important, okay? You need your main outline layer active. After that, uh, you have to get your magic wand tool from here. So right click and get a magic wand tool 
uh, tolerance all the way to 55 and here make sure you are on the second option so uh, first let's turn on the model then uh, I want white color here in one two and three so I'm just gonna do click click and click so it will make selection of all of those areas now don't directly go in and fill any color uh, because like the selection doesn't work properly in Photoshop uh, so for that first you need to go to select modify and expand and expand your selection by three pixels so as you can see now selection goes little bit outside of the line that's what you need so once we are done with that go to your adjustment layer and get a solid and then pick any color you want so for here i want like a little bit of off-white uh, sorry bit grayish tone and then go and hit ok and rename it to jacket arms uh, and then take this layer and put it under your outline so basically all of your colors they should be under your outlines so you can see all the outlines clearly I'm gonna go and activate my main outlines again make sure I have magic wand tool then I will do a click here now here as you can see it's also selecting this portion which I don't want and the reason is because I have this little bit of gap here when I was making my outlines so I need to fix it so now if I select my wand tool and do a click see now it only selects that portion which is exactly what I need now I'm gonna again go to select, modify and expand, expand it by 3 pixels, uh, then create new adjustment layer and get a solid. And this time I'm gonna make it a little bit dark red tone, looks good, hit ok and put it under the main outline and rename it to. Now here's the thing, I want the same color here as well. For that again go back to your main outlines and then do a click so it will do the selection of the area, expand it uh, and after that activate the mask here, not the layer but the, uh, but the mask of the, uh, the layer and then get your paint bucket tool and fill it with white color. So basically whenever you fill this mask with white color it will show the color only in that portion wherever you have selection. So I'm happy with this and then I'm gonna go to select and deselect. So using exactly the same method I will fill in colors in all the big areas where I want them. Okay, and now for the wire of the headphone, so the wire actually goes on top of your main outlines. As you can see, it overlaps. So for that, create a new blank layer and just rename it like headphone wire. Uh, and select the same color as the skirt because I don't want to use like a too many different colors. So hold down your option key and then click on the skirt or like the any color from the photo. And then you can just paint on top of the wire. Uh, and call it a day. So we are done with the coloring and let's turn on the details to see how it looks. Okay that looks pretty good. Now we can finally add in all the shadows to give it the depth that it needs. Uh, for that uh, first of all we need to group uh, all the colors. Uh, so select your first color whatever you have then hold your shift key and then select the last color that you have. Make sure all of them are selected and then press Ctrl G or Command G if you are on Mac and rename your group to colors. Now create a new layer on top of your colors and rename it to shadows. Uh, and then get your brush tool and in the color make sure you have black color. Uh, it's important that it's pure black. Uh, and then change the opacity of this layer to 20. This is also important. So make sure your shadow layer is exactly on top of your color group 
Then right click on the shadow layer and then select create a clipping mask. So now when I paint the shadows, they will not go outside of my colors. They won't hurt the body or the background or anything. They will only stay on the colors, which makes your life a lot easier. So that's clear. You have your shadow layer uh, active, but now you don't know where do I put the shadows, which I can understand. So turn off your colors for a while and see which portions are darker. So as you can see, this is a bit darker. This is a little bit darker. This can be a bit darker and there is a clear shadow here. Uh, so for that, now you can just eyeball it. For example, uh, turn on your colors and make sure your shadow there is active. And first of all, I'm going to go and make a shadow here, something like this. So as you can see the shadows are already working and it looks a lot better another trick you can do that i use uh, is everywhere you see this lines that you drew for the detail just put shadow on top of that don't make your brush too thick but just put it like this So as you can see it looks a lot better i'm not saying that it will work all the time everywhere but it's one of a kind of a hacky way you can get around like a, to add more depth in your photos and in situation like this for example here in the skirt if we just go and do lines like this it will not look that good but what you can do is uh, draw a shape like this then oops and then fill it up just on the left side so you can show it clearly that okay right is com light is coming from the right side so already looking pretty good another thing you can do if you don't know how uh, like how to fix shadows is that whenever you have arms or something that is like a cylinder shape just throw in shadows like a little bit at the bottom like this and then some at the top like this without thinking too much and 9 out of 10 times it will work so for now i think shadows are more than good enough uh, this is with shadows without with without uh, now i'm gonna fix the colors and then we can do some decoration Okay, now we can start the decorations and that is completely up to you actually, whatever you want to do. Just make sure that the decoration layer is for the most part on top of everything. So let's create the layer, blank layer and rename it decorations. Uh, get a brush tool and again I don't want to add any new colors so I will just use this red color again. Uh, make my brush a bit smaller so let's start with the most common thing that people do in this effect is have like a stroke around the subject looking good and then for the rest of the areas I just put random things without thinking too much and this way you can add the decoration the best thing though Create a new layer, create a new solid, pick like a whatever color, make sure the solid is on top of your decorations, right? Then just right click, create a clipping mask. And now you can change the colors of your decoration to whatever you want, which is super convenient and I think it's kind of cool. So there's that and then hit OK. Now let's crop the image. Uh, to make it best for the Instagram get a crop tool and make sure the size is 4 by 5 so I'm gonna go and make it a little bit big and I also added a texture in the background so for that I'm gonna activate the background fill this white color then go to file and place embedded and select the texture so go and place it And then change the opacity of your texture to I think around 20 ish yeah and you have really subtle texture which gives it a bit more depth and finally for the text it's super easy get your pen tool 
uh, wait first of all make sure you are on the top of everything then get your pen tool do a click another click and drag without releasing the click and then make any curvy shape that you like i don't care man uh, and then get your type tool when you have your path ready get the type tool and then you can see like uh, if i go exactly on the path it changes like the style this is normal type tool but when i'm closer to a path it changes so here you do a click and then you can type anything i'm not chilling i'm not even vibing it's a lie but it goes well with the photo uh, and then you can make it big and for the color i think i'm gonna uh, make it yellow i think it was yellow now so it's just a, like a yellow text the same color as the top uh, and then i added a red stroke around it uh, so I can see the text properly so it's the same red color as the jacket so again you know don't introduce too many colors it will make it busy so uh, decorations are quite important because look at this is just a photo this is cool photo so yeah I think I explained everything that I wanted to explain and I hope that you guys learned something from this video if you did Hit that like button and if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to ask me in comment section below i will see you again in the next video until then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop